whenever this game is at its highest and my teammates need me to step up, I step up. I produce and I don't shy away from the competition. I knew I was going to take the last shot and I knew it was going to be a three. Let the All-American go make a play. Trimble, five seconds to go. I tried to get closer, but I mean, I just took the shot that was available and it was almost from half court. I did leave the hand up so it could look like, well, at least he did everything he's supposed to do with his form. I thought I missed, and I was like, Coach Sturgeon's gonna say, why didn't I go to the basket? But it went in. Oh, he got it! And that'll do it! Melo Trimble wins it on the road for Maryland. I never hit a game winner, so it was my first time. I always wanted to know what it felt like. I always dreamed about it, always imagined it. For that to be my first game winner, it felt pretty good, and hopefully I have more down the stretch. I expect him to do things like that. You know, you, get, you coach a kid for a year and a half, and nothing surprises you. My freshman season, it's a big adjustment. Trimble, stutter step, takes the opening. Trimble Whoa. is hit, Whoa. and goes down hard. Players are bigger, faster. Oh, Melo Trimble just took a shot. Melo Trimble slow to get up. You know, it's frustrating, but going through those practices in the summer and in the fall got me ready for the year. My confidence grew, and you know I just relaxed and I just played. In transition for Trimble. He's gonna cross you over, break your ankles, make you fall down, and put you on YouTube. He's been an unbelievable player this year showing that he's a complete basketball player. He's a much better communicator. He's a much better leader. We still have a ways to go, but he's much more comfortable in his leadership skills. Off the court, he's very soft-spoken, but as the leader, as a point guard on the court, when he speaks and when he calls the huddle, it's dead silence. To have that kind of respect from his peers as a sophomore, it can only continue to help his game and his maturation as he continues to grow in this game of basketball. What's going on, Melo? Just want to invite you personally to the second annual SC30 Select Camp as a college counselor to help me, one, get better, and two, lead these high school guys to new levels as well. I mean, I just couldn't believe it to ha have him, you know, actually know who I am and say my name it was something special. I had to go. I mean, it was Steph Curry. I couldn't miss this opportunity to meet him, man. When I saw him in person, I'm normally not like this, but it was Steph, and I was kind of shaking. <laughs> Mello really stood out to me, just the way he competed, was eager to learn, ask questions, it was very approachable for the high school guys as well. We were counselors there. I'd never been a counselor at a camp, you know, like this one, showing players what they're doing, stuff like that. I've always been a coach. He showed his work ethic from day one, like he was um, grinding, you know, going through all the drills at full speed and stuff like that, so I knew he was kind of a leader by example. I watched a lot of the games. He's so composed when he's out on the floor, but he's aggressive. He's not afraid to make big plays. This time he'll take a three, count it, and he got fouled. Very similar to how it was back in college. Curry lets a long ball fly, and that's the marquee shot of Stephen Curry. I learned from Steph being confident. You know, as you can see, every game is super confident in you know, the shots he takes, so I think that, that's how I am too. I'm blessed to get the opportunity to go to that camp. Iowa's looking to maintain sole possession of first place in the Big Ten, while Maryland in a third place tie. Tonight is why you play the game. This place is electric, Gary. It's got an NCAA tournament type of feel to it. Dribble around Gasell to the basket, layup good, and a foul called on Wicker. Mello at his best. Boy, he attacked the rim hard. Here's a cutting Pete Jack. Scores off glass. He'll take it coast to coast. Wide yes. open left corner with a three. Yes! Layman. Jake Layman for three. Nobody's come up for air yet. They're getting after each other. Maryland penetration really ruling the day right now.
Carter hands it off to Triple. Another three ball, yes. And the roof coming off the building, 34-29. with an air ball. It was a terrible shot, both feet on that three-point line. Terrible choice. Five threes for Maryland and one for the Hawkeyes. And Iowa shoots 41% from three-point range. From the left corner, they'll come back with a three. That time they drained it. Deep left corner by Dom Yule. Clemens in the front court for Cassell. The jock in the corner. Three. Good by Peter Jock. And Iowa has fought back from eight down and has the lead back by one. This has been a good game. Back and, and forth, forth and it's yeah. been tight. Well, whose offense is going to solve the other's defense first? Suleiman on the breakaway, around the defender, and the reverse for the right hand is good. He went right around Dom Yule with a tremendous play. Clemens on the right wing. This is down low on the block. They give it back to Clemens. Clemens penetrates into the paint. The float over the right hand is good. It can't be that easy down the stretch. That's too easy. Carter to Suleiman. Had a notion, drives inside off the glass with a runner, it's good, and he's fouled in the basket count. Uh, Rashid Suleiman, what a game he's putting together here. 130 to go in this game. Terps hang it on. A two-point lead, trying to pull the upset. The diamond stone, he went right around the defender. Dom Yule took one giant step, and he gets his first field goal of the second half. And it's the other end. Here's Lehman on the breakaway. Lehman, a skip pass goes to Nickens with a left hand in the left. It's gone. And Maryland holds off the Hawkeyes. 74 to 68. Oh my God. Let's go, I don't think we play as well as we're capable of playing. I'm going to give Merlin credit for that. We didn't play our best game, and we're still right there with two minutes to go. So I think that says something about the character of our team.